Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> so we are in a really, really, really cool town right now. It's yeah. called uh, Kuba PD. It's Kuba PD. Yeah. We, we've come here. We stayed um, in a caravan park last night, and we haven't gone to the sea uh, the t to the town yet. But it's really, really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So um, two things why it's interesting. Kosla, do you want to tell one? <laughs> the main thing is that the, the town is interesting because. Um, it's very famous for opal mining and I read that uh, the opal mine has been operating since 1970s so that should give us an idea how abundant um, is this town with opal leaves, yeah? Yeah, so we came here because Kosala wants to buy me some opals. No, well, <laughs> We are on a budget, so opals are expensive. <laughs> no, so yeah, that's number one. Opals are, you know, really abundant here and people yeah. come here just to see them. And number two, uh, which is why we mainly came, is because, um, so we, we read that uh, most people live underground here. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, uh, you know, when we read about it, it said that it's really hot here and due to the scorching heat, people, you know, just mm. can't live on the surface, so they live underground. Um, but it's not like what you think. It's not like you're walking on the road and there are, you know, like, they're legit living under the surface. It's yeah. these caves that they've kind of, you know, they've built their houses yeah. in these caves. So it's like the, the little mounds that you have on top of the, like the soil, and then you have like the dugouts like built into them. Yeah. And also uh, the campsite that we were in, had some specific underground camping sites just for the tents, people yes. with tents. It's pretty cool, and the uh, the TV area, which we uh, will show you guys now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and is underground as well. Like yeah. you know, there's so like there's the couches and the chairs and the TV. It's it's really odd. To see. But it's really nice, yeah, like it's all yeah. in a really good way, like yeah. it's so unique, we've never seen anything like that, yeah. so we were really, you know, interested. And, and, and the setting over here, like the Kuba PD, is much more similar to the uh, the movie called Mad Max, if you have watched it, it's <laughs> remi it really reminds me of the movie Mad Max. It's, it's all like um, orange, um, the soil and the sand, and it's really outback, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, exactly, it's outback and underground. And funnily enough, guys, we found out later that many films, including Mad Max and Riddick, were filmed here in Kuba PD. And also, I want to say, the houses kind of also look like um, the things in The Hobbit. Yes. The yeah, Hobbit on. Yeah, 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 so it's kind of similar. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what it is like. It's really cool. So, so far we've only seen the TV room and what was there in the campsite. So now we're just making our way to the town. Yep. Uh, we are going to have some waffles, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have proper breakfast. Uh, <laughs> we've been living on a budget and we've yeah. been cooking for ourselves. We, and we, you know, We've told ourselves, look, we deserve a good breakfast. We have, we've been having yogurt and granola for a while <laughs> and getting we are getting sick of it so yeah, yeah so we're yeah, gonna we saw this really nice um, you know little cafe that has um, some awesome looking uh, waffles so yeah. we're gonna go there and then explore the town so yeah. come along with us come along when you turn the uh, right to uh, Kuba Pedi I saw the welcome sign I think I saw the Sri Lankan flag <laughs> so we had to stop of yeah, course really yeah, yeah. let's go check it out <laughs> Welcome to Kuba Pedi. There you go. That's where we're from. Sri Lanka. <laughs> That's really cool, really cool that we made the list. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's a community of Sri Lankans who had oh. lived here. Oh, maybe. It's like a multicultural thing, yeah? Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, just a little update guys, the waffle shop is closed. <laughs> <laughs> so, because, uh, you know, it's not the season. The season here, the most popular time is to visit in winter, because summer gets very hot. Um, so yeah, because of that, usually during this time, apparently lots of attractions are closed. Um, so yeah, you know, tough luck. We're just gonna go and look for another bakery or cafe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, babe. No <laughs> This was the Old Timers Mine and Museum, which is a self-guided tour that takes you through an actual 1916 underground opal mine and a dugout 
which is an underground home where miners lived. As you walk through the tunnels, you can see pick marks and streaks of opal that have been left in the rocks. I think it goes without saying that we highly recommend this tour to anyone visiting the area as it really gives you a glimpse of the past and a day in a miner's life in the olden days.
Ursula, what does that say? It says that it has travelled from Adelaide. <laughs> and right here we are wondering whether we can get our petrol to Adelaide. <laughs> it will be a dig disgrace if our petrol can't make it. <laughs> How cool is this? So guys, I did not ask for this. But Ursula got me a teeny tiny Oppo. She hinted at it. I did not hint at it. <laughs> well, I just brought her there. I mean, uh, will we ever travel here again? I don't know. Probably not, but if we had the chance, yeah. Definitely. But yeah, oh, it's so tiny, but so cute as well. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to remember this, you know, visit by. Like a souvenir. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Okay, next up in the list of must visit places in Kuba PD is Crocodile Harry's underground nest and dugout. And to be honest, we don't even know how to begin to explain this place. So, Crocodile Harry had been a Latvian soldier who fought in World War II that came to Australia and later became a crocodile hunter. Yes, that was a thing. Apparently, after he retired from crocodile hunting, he settled down in Kuba PD, which was just as quirky as his personality. This is the home that he lived in, with art, clothing, VHS tapes and many many other little trinkets all over the walls. He had been very popular with the ladies back in the day, and visitors still leave funny messages and little mementos at his home even after his passing. Although it's a popular attraction in Kuba PD, we had it all to ourselves today with a tour by the friendly doggo who guards it. Hi honey! Oh my gosh! booked a cool accommodation for us yeah just for one day <laughs> so it's a dugout yeah it's a dugout uh, pinky dice dugout and I'm excited we're gonna be sleeping in a proper bed after about a month yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be 
being like a dugout, so that's cool. <laughs> and I saw there's a washing machine, so I'm gonna do all the laundry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully make a. I mean, nice we did our laundry, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, people will think we haven't done our laundry in a month. We, we have paid for this, so it yeah. comes with a washing machine, so. Might as well. Might as well, yeah. And uh, yeah, also maybe make a nice dinner. Yep. Good. Shall we check it out? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> got a nice shade. <laughs> Finally gets to rest a bit. Finally gets to rest a bit. <laughs> and we are in this. And we get to sleep in a bed. <laughs> Please keep the door closed to maintain indoor temperature. <laughs> excited to use a full-scale kitchen after such a long time. Let's just look here. And dining area. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. a bed <laughs> a proper bed <laughs> after a month yeah it's been a month it's a shower <laughs> it's a washing machine toilet oh yeah we have to do our laundry but i think there's no dryer so we might need to dry outside and I think there's another bedroom right over here. Look at this spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you come through here, you can see there. <laughs> there's another bedroom. Okay, you take that bit. I'll take this one. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> and look at this. <laughs> and obviously, what makes it cooler is that it's a stud out. Yeah. I mean, look at these walls. Imagine how much planning you need to do to kind mm. of like, you know, work. The layout, the plans of your house around this, yeah. and yeah, explain everything. It's amazing. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, so since we are in this little house today, um, I just thought it's the perfect opportunity since I have a full kitchen to try and make a nice dinner for Kosala. Um, so he really loves Sri Lankan meals and he loves rice and curry. So I'm going to try and make rice. Also, there's a rice cooker. I wasn't expecting that. So that's going to make my job so much easier. So I'm going to make rice, dal, pork sambal and uh, black pork curry. Uh, so that one I'm not the greatest at, but I found a recipe online. So I'm going to give it a try. Let's see. <laughs> is done. Kosala is making the sample. Oh, but we also figured that uh, for the pork curry <laughs> that you need to marinate it overnight. So, you know, we decided that we'll Marinate, marinate it, leave it overnight and uh, make the pork curry tomorrow. So today we'll probably just have rice, dal and sambal, yeah. which is still good. Yeah. <laughs> This is us enjoying our dinner and this is how the pork curry turned out the next day. I think that's a good place to stop this vlog today. We'll see you next time with part 2 of our Kuba Pedi shenanigans. <laughs>